Times. I've said it was a mistake and I regret it. And now they apparently want to look at emails of one of my staffers, and by all means, uh, they should look at them. And I am sure they will reach the same conclusion they did when they looked at my emails for the last year. There is no case here. Really? Yeah, what are my staffers? What's her name again? Uma Abedin? How do you say that? Yeah. Friends, maybe? yeah, really? Is there really a case here or not? Uh, South Carolina Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy, he chaired the House Select Committee on Benghazi that led to the Rose Re uh, Revelations. He joins us right now from South Carolina. Good morning, you, Congressman. Good morning. How are y'all? We're doing okay. Hillary Clinton is, uh, despite the reported half a million north of that emails out there, she's blaming James Comey for this. Do you blame James Comey for these revelations? Well, to the best of my recollection, Director Comey did not tell her to set up her own private email server. He did not tell her to lie about almost every aspect of the email. He didn't tell Uma Abedin not to turn over all of her devices, and he didn't tell Anthony Weiner to sex with underage girls. So I don't know how Jim Comey is responsible for any of this. <laughs> Uh, we're getting word this morning, according to Reuters, that uh, Loretta Lynch, she does not want James Comey coming forward with this. She said it violates um, law policy. and uh, policy. So he allegedly said to her, are you ordering me to keep the new Clinton email bombshell a secret? Now, based on your experience, because you know these folks, did that happen? Um, I am sure that Loretta Lynch and Sally Yates, uh, her top uh, deputy, had a conversation with Comey. But the FBI director was given a 10-year gig for a reason. So he or she can be independent. And I could have sworn Loretta Lynch recused herself from this investigation mm -hmm. because she met with Bill Clinton on the tarmac. So what in the world she's doing talking to Jim Comey about this investigation baffles right. me. So, uh, Congressman, you, you were out on Sunday. You were helping us out to define what this actually means. And, of course, here we are on Tuesday still talking about it. I was on radio yesterday with Congressman Jim Jordan, and he kind of surprised me. He came out and said, I think it was probably not the right thing to do for James Comey to come out like this, this close to the election. I know you guys are friends. How do you feel? Well, we are friends. I love Jim Jordan, and he's a three-time NCAA wrestling champion, so I would never disagree with him to his <laughs> face. Uh, but we're a thousand miles away from each other right now. <laughs> I think Comey had an obligation. Uh, he told Congress the investigation was over. So new evidence came to light. He could have either sat on it and been criticized afterwards for not telling us, or he could have done the transparent thing and said, look, I'm notifying you. He didn't comment on the substance of the emails. He didn't even say that it's directly related to Secretary Clinton. He just right. said the investigation has reinitiated. So I, I viewed it as a notice document. Um, and the timing, again, is not Jim Comey's fault. It is not his fault this is coming up uh, a week or so before right. the election. That is Secretary Clinton's fault. You know, in, in South Carolina, there's a saying, it all comes out in the wash. Remember being taught that? Sure. At least we were. And you're from South Carolina. I can't believe that all this has come forward, this latest investigation, because Anthony Weiner was sexting with some young girl. That could cost Hillary Clinton the election. Well, that'd be ironic. I, 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 yesterday, she acted like she didn't know who Uma Abedin uh, was, right. which right. Uh, is laughable. Uh, she has no closer aid than Uma Abedin. And by the way, uh, these are not Uma Abedin's emails. I don't think anybody cares about her emails. Right. They would be emails yeah. that Secretary Clinton either authored or received. Sure. So these are not Uma Abedin's emails. These are Secretary Clinton's emails. Um, so I, I, she can act like she doesn't know Uma, but we know better. Sure, it all got backed up. It sounds like her smartphone backed up on that thing, and now she's going, I don't know how that happened. i got to ask you this. Uh, it, the letter that came out from the Department of Justice yesterday, that they would be working with the FBI to try to sort through this stuff as quickly as possible, although, you know, they're not going to be able to do it before the election. It was signed by a fellow by the name, uh, the Assistant Attorney General Peter Kadzik, I believe. I was noticing on some of the blogs this morning, they say this particular guy is actually a close friend of John Podesta, who's the chairman of Hillary's campaign. Do you see the possibility of politics working into this? Well, in the interest of full disclosure, I have had many, many differences with Peter Katzik, both publicly and privately. Uh, but I actually don't think it's a problem for this reason. Um, Peter Kasich doesn't make these decisions. They're made at the top of the DOJ. I've been very critical of the politicization of the DOJ. Right. I, I think it is terrible the Department of Justice has been politicized. 
But Peter Katzik is not a decision maker. He is a messenger. Right. And Congressman, just get us clear on this. Intent seems to be the big word. The intent doesn't matter when it comes to a guy on a nuclear submarine taking a picture to tell his parents what he was doing when he's at sea. Intent didn't matter with, uh, with General Cartwright. Does intent matter? If Hillary Clinton didn't intend to violate security procedures, does that matter? No, and that, is, that was my whole point of difference with Director Comey. Had Congress intended to require specific intent, we would not have used the phrase gross negligence. Those are two different standards. So Congress intentionally used the phrase gross negligence. Uh, he said extreme carelessness. They mean the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. An intent to harm the country is what we call treason. So we wanted to criminalize conduct below treason. Just simply being grossly negligent with our nation's secrets is a crime. So again, I disagreed sharply with Director Comey when he read that element into the offense. Uh, so I, I have been critical of him in the past. Mm -hmm. I have been supportive of him in the past, uh, depending on the facts. And you sure. support this move? I think he had no choice but to notify Congress that his previous testimony w had changed. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Congressman Trey Gowdy, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank, thank, you. thank you all. All right. 3,000 emails returned to the State Department in 2014, 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. Eight of those chains contained information that was top secret at the time they were sent. 36 of those chains contained secret information at the time, and eight contained confidential information at the time. That's the lowest level of classification. Although we did not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws governing the handling of classified information, there is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. Very powerful. Now, days later, Comey had this exchange with Congressman Trey Gowdy that offered more evidence that Clinton not only has not been honest, but Comey's admitting she broke laws. Watch this. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. There were a small number of portion markings on, I think, three of the documents. Secretary Clinton said, I did not email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? No, there was classified material emailed. Secretary Clinton said she used just one device. Was that true? She used multiple devices during the four years uh, of her term as Secretary of State. Secretary Clinton said all work-related emails were returned to the State Department. Was that true? No, we found work-related emails, thousands, that were not returned. Secretary Clinton said her lawyers read every one of the emails and were overly inclusive. Did her lawyers read the email content individually? No. Lie after lie, law after law, broken. Now, there's also the question of if Clinton's own doing, if this is her own doing, if that doesn't sink her campaign, and she actually, God forbid, wins the White House, what happens the day after, on November 9th? Now, sources say the FBI review of hundreds of thousands of new emails will not be done before voters, before you head to the polls, now in eight days. And the Washington Post is reporting that the FBI's agents, well, they wanted to investigate pay-to-play allegations at the Clinton Foundation, but that attempt was shut down by the Department of Justice. By the way, the same Department of Justice that we learned through WikiLeaks was colluding with the Clinton campaign, just like the State Department was, just like the White House was, and of course, the liberal mainstream media. So think about the magnitude of all of this for a second. Hillary Clinton could be sworn into office while still being under investigation from the FBI, which would then put this country into a major constitutional crisis. Now, Clinton says Donald Trump, oh, he's not fit to serve in the Oval Office, but she, and she alone, has created a situation that could do severe damage to this country and the office of the presidency and prevent this country from solving problems. That means getting Americans back to work, fixing our broken educational system, fixing a broken health care system, fixing porous borders, vetting refugees. All of this needs to be done. Balancing a budget, stop robbing our kids. 
here with react